Hey there, it's Brittany and I'm back with another design with me um, necklace tutorial. So these beads from Beads Inc are burning a hole in my pockets. <laughs> I already did one whole beautiful jewelry set, but I didn't get to my favorite beads from that entire um, review and haul that I got. So I can't leave you hanging. I did see these were sold out for a little bit. I don't know if they're back in stock. Um, but these are the teal fruit loop beads, they call them. Um, they're African Ashanti reef, uh, recycled glass. We've got the bone chiclets and the dotted chiclets. Um, I did grab some stuff from my stash for this video. Um, I don't know what I want to do. I'm kind of feeling a little, um, exploratory today. So I got, um, an African brass pendant. They do have a similar one on their site. It doesn't have hearts, but it's got, it's like round. So if you're looking for one, they had one on their site. Um, and then I found a Hamsa. I got this in downtown Phoenix. It's gorgeous. Um, I pulled out some, I was thinking gemstones for this one. So I pulled out some quartz. I got these maybe 2019 in, in Tucson. So I haven't really used them because they were expensive, <laughs> but I think they look really good. Like, doesn't that just like look awesome together? Yeah, we're going to do that. And then I got out some more quartz. Um, these are a little bit more polished. I like that too. And then I got out some really like chonky bone discs for the back maybe. And um, the gold brass bicones that they sent. And then I have a couple pieces of chain. So I don't know, I don't know what we're doing, but we're gonna be doing something fun. So um, let's get going. I kind of want to do a multi-strand. I know I've done a couple of those lately, but I don't care, it's fun. I love doing them. And then this one's gonna be a little bit bulkier because I do want, I think I want all three of these. I don't want to just do um, two strands this time. Um, I just got to figure out which beads I want this to be hanging from. I have to figure out like, do I want cord? Do I want chain? Do I want string? Do I want bead string wire? Because this isn't going to fit. These beads aren't going to fit through cord. I mean, like leather cord. Although these all have big holes. Mm. But I really, really want to use these. So maybe bead stringing wire. I don't know. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But I do want to use it. It always hurts for me to cut these, but I can do it. I know I can do it. I, I don't know which pendant we're going to go with yet, but I, I don't know. I'm leaning towards the Hamsa, but we have seen me change at the last minute. <laughs> so future Brittany knows this Brittany does not. Okay. I'm just going to cut these open. Ouch. I'm gonna dump some of these out. I do have some brass beads that I can supplement from my um, my stash if I need to. I'm set here for now. You're not gonna be able to see that, but that's okay. Maybe I'll use um, Eslon cord because I think that'll be better for these. We'll see, we'll see. And then I have some tiny brass beads that I think would be good for the center. A couple small strands. I don't know if these will go inside. Oh, I haven't used these yet. Hmm. Yeah, they'll go inside there. Very close, but that's what we're probably going to use. We might stack a couple. Um, let's see. Really wanted, I like the crystal because I really liked how it looked on that the necklace we made um, 
with the other beads ink stuff we got these glass pieces in here so I wanted to use my crystal quartz I'm using the same crystal and brass in all three strands, but I'm only using like the dotted beads on its own strand. I'm not mixing the dotted with the bone, the regular bone. I'm not mixing the bone with the teal. I'm just putting them out there and then the third one all right so I'm gonna look for my um, S line so I have this teal but I think I don't know if the whole I don't know if it's big enough to or small enough to get through the crystal quartz. No, <laughs> it's getting it's big enough to go through one side, and it's perfect for this project. Oh, these bead manufacturers! Like, please just give us bigger holes on the beads. <laughs> oh, my kingdom for a bigger hole on these crystal beads. Okay, that's not gonna work. Let's see what else? What other color I have? Because I don't want to give up those stunning beads for this necklace. I have brown, I guess I could use brown. That was the, the larger size of Eslon. So it comes in small or mine, min, mini, m medium and mega, I don't know. It comes in s some different sizes. So um, this better fit through or else I'm gonna have a fit. So there we go, that works. We're just gonna go for it. This is already open. I'm gonna take a few of those off. can always just add or delete later depending on what I like I don't like that bead. Not the crystal. The the this ring is too the the hole is too big. So we'll go with this guy. Lovely. And I will just keep going.
Okay, I'm getting a little worried about how sturdy this one string is going to be, um, just because these are heavy beads. Um, but I checked and I can't do a double string through these silly holes on the um, crystals, uh, the, the crystal quartz. So that's a bummer, but we'll deal with it. All right, so there's the first little section of the first strand, and I love it. So pretty. I don't know what I'm going to put here. Um, I'm just going to kind of leave that until I get some of the second and third strands strung. Um, I'm going to cut off a really long piece so I have all the cord that I need for later on, and then put some wire stoppers on so we don't lose our beads. Start my next strand, which was the dotted strand. much easier <laughs> and I don't think it'll let me go through yeah it's not gonna let me go through with that so I'll have to uh, take it out put the crystal on put it back on and put the bicone on but sometimes you just need patience sometimes it takes a while <laughs> especially if you get want it to look a certain way sometimes I'll take the easy way out and just go the easier route and change the design, but I really liked how these looked with these beads. I'll set that to the side because we have more bicones coming up. All right, so here's our second strand so far. Absolutely stunning. I kind of want to make a necklace that's just like this too. And I have more of these beads, so I'll probably be doing that. For days that I want to layer a little differently, I think I'm going to do that because I just, I love it. Those, that brass with the bone, with the crystals, so yummy. All right, so we have our two. I'm going to cut this one off, do our third one. This one, I'm not using any crystals on this strand, so I'm just going to put my needle on because it'll be a lot easier for me. This is a big, big eye needle if you haven't seen one before. Okay, so I am going to trim this one. 
I'm going to lay these three out and see how I feel about them together. So we'll put this one right here and then our other bone dotted one. So pretty. And then this I think is going to be a little long, but we can see. And then um, our Ashanti strand. I'm loving it. Oh my gosh, isn't that gorgeous? I'm going to swing down so you can kind of see. There we go. So there we go. I just need to start adding beads to each strand. So for this strand, I um, did, I think, seven here. I don't know why I did that. But then I did eight. I'm just going to kind of repeat that eight again. We'll do the same thing on the other side. Okay. I'm gonna do a couple more shanty beads on each side. Uh, because you do want this strand to be longer than this strand, and I don't want to shorten this strand. I am going to shorten the um, brass strand, uh, brass and bone strand. Um, I'm going to put a brass on here, and then I'm going to remove some from the uh, white bone strand so that it's a little bit shorter and the brown bone strand. So what I need to do is kind of step these in. So um, I'll need some either seed beads or smaller brass rings. Let's try these. Have a, a brass bead and pull those down. Oh my gosh, I love it! I love it. I don't think you can see that, but I'm going to do the exact same thing on the other side. I'm just going to clamp these together so I don't lose them. that and then I'll do the exact same thing on the other side. All right, one of the kits that I received from uh, Beads Inc. a while ago was the Rowan necklace kit and I just realized there are some beads in there that I wanted to use on this necklace. So um, I still kept it, the, the brass bead right here, I just put my needle, I put a needle on both sides so I don't have to take it on and off anymore. But then I found these in the Rowan kit, they're gorgeous brass beads. So I'm gonna put one on here, and then these were also in the Rowan kit. Um, they were large bone beads, and they match um, how bright these chiclet beads are. So I'm gonna put that on, and then another brass, and then another brass. I love how that looks, the layering of the brass with bringing the bone up into the top. And then what I'm going to do, I brought over a bunch of 
um, different bone beads. I originally had these out. They're really big. Um, and I think that's just going to be too much. Although I, I like too much. I think it's just too much. So I found these and I like them. They echo the black in the dotted beads. They echo the shape of the Ashanti beads. So up the back, I'm just going to finish off with these bone beads and then do the exact same thing on the other side. And then I believe I have a clasp that I wanted to use from them. It's buried somewhere on my desk. So I will find that and I'll be back. All right, so I've added about 25 of those rondelles and then um, two brass spacers at the back. I found the large brass or gold toggles that Beads Ink sent. Love these, so perfect for this design. Um, I have a couple decisions to make on how I am going to finish this off. So do I use a knot cover, meaning I would have to knot all of these pieces together trim or like glue them trim two and then put one and <laughs> pray that one strand will hold all or one knot will hold all of this work or do I just kind of not super care what the back looks like and not around um, my toggle and now I just remembered like because these beads are so large I'll need something that will help me get the toggle through the the ring um i think i have a jump ring or a um, closed ring that i can use i just saw that'll it. help so if i not around this ring and then use a jump ring to attach it to the toggle it should fit through I'm not too worried about how everything's laying because we still have to knot the other side and there's plenty of room on the other side of the, the necklace. So then, Like I said, I can move everything down towards the knot, so I'm not too worried right here. I'm definitely going to need some glue back here. So there's one knot. I'm going to do another one because that's for sure going to come undone. <laughs> We might have a little bit more difficulty on the other side of the, the necklace closing that off. Okay, so then I will get some glue, either super new glue or GS Hypo Cement or super glue gel, whatever you prefer. Just tightening each one individually. saturate that knot with the glue and I'm gonna let that thoroughly dry before I even think about trimming I have um, necklace and I'm sorry bracelet and earrings planned but this video ran way longer than I thought it would so I'm gonna work on that at another point so what I'll do is take my other end, slowly move everything down. Still leaving a little bit of a curve so everything can have room to move around and not like snap. Thank you. 
And I'm also making sure that my strands are positioned in the right order so that they'll lay correctly. making sure there aren't any noticeable gaps. There will be some slack, always happens. So don't, don't get discouraged if that happens. I'm gonna trim these so they're all the same length. forgot to put on my two brass beads. We would have had a problem. And then we'll do our knot. I'm going to grab my knotting pliers to make sure that I can get the knot as close as possible to the beads and the See, there is a little bit of slack there. I'm trying to eliminate it, but probably won't all be gone. <gasps> oh, nope. We don't want the we don't want the toggle bar on this side. <laughs> Okay, so let's try that again with the correct part of the clasp. <laughs> the whole reason we put the ring on the other side was so that the, the toggle can go through the ring, the this part of the ring. So let's try that again. Just pull that tight and then I'm going to do one more knot. And we'll just glue that together. All 
There we go. And then I will find a jump ring for the other side. That glue looks like it's still setting. I'm gonna leave this alone for maybe a half hour and then it should be dry by then. And we'll come back and see the finished product. My necklace is finished. I've created quite a mess <laughs> of my board, but I'll make sure to clean all that up. And I've trimmed my ends on my um, cord. The necklace is amazing i mean this is absolutely more than i was expecting and i'm so happy it turned out the way i'd like it um i am going to do a second video because i absolutely want a bracelet stack to match so stay tuned for that and i'm going to make one necklace that's just this middle strand because i really like that and i want that to be um to be able to layer that with some other looks i have and i actually really like this one just with um the three so maybe I'll make one of those two but I'm for sure making one just like this um, I hope you enjoyed the process let me know if you have any questions uh, thanks to beads ink again for these gorgeous gorgeous beads wouldn't have been able to um, make this necklace without them and um, check them out free shipping on US orders um, and special coupon code in my group for my group members only uh, on Brittany Speeds and Facebook. So let me know if you have questions. Let me know what you think. And I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. Stay tuned for Goldie. She's super cute. Bye-bye. Goldie's happy to be home. I missed you very much, Goldie, while I was in Tucson. Yeah, you happy, huh? You're such a good girl. Yeah, you're such a good girl. Yeah. Oh, where you going, bud? Yeah, you're in your pillows, huh? Good girl.